Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Cold War video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the tanks and the boats and all the vehicles that they're going to be planning to add to this game. I just want to give my intake on it and see if they're actually good, bad, or are they good for the game. If you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like on this video. Be sure to subscribe. Just remember that 90% of my viewers that watch me on a daily basis are not subscribed. So if you guys can do me a huge favor, subscribe. It's free. You guys can always unsubscribe later. And also turn on your notifications so you guys aren't missing on any new content. Cold War's out soon. So I'm going to have a bunch of Cold War videos out. And I'm already, you know, already working towards that. So let's get into it. When it comes to boats and tanks, those are the only two like main vehicles that we were introduced to. Uh, yes, we were introduced into motorcycles, all that type of stuff, uh, the snowmobiles. To me, that's not an issue. I and the same thing as like the jet skis that they added, the jet skis, the boat, um, the not the boats, the jet skis, the motorcycles, and the snowmobiles. I believe those three vehicles are completely fine. It helps with the movement. It's nothing OP. There's no gun on top of it. It's just to get like further ahead on the map, and I completely respect that. Me personally, I don't have an issue with it. There might be some players out there saying like, no, we don't want this, we don't want this, but I think it's useful on certain maps when it comes to the snow map um i that generally the snowmobiles help out a lot and especially when you're playing assault and it's and it's fun for that but when it comes to playing like vip escort and stuff like that i feel like those maps just should not be in vip escort but that's just my personal preference because the maps are way too big i feel like vip escort and when whenever they add search i want small maps on those i don't want really really big maps i don't think it'll be fun and i don't think I mean, there might be pros that are liking those types of maps, but for me personally, I believe those maps should not be in the playlist. I can understand if Cartel's in there, um, but when it comes to that snow map, I, forgot, I, I think it's called Crossroads. That map, I just, me personally, I believe that should, map should not even be in the rotation for that. I think Crossroads should just be a strictly uh, ground war playlist. When I mean ground war, I'm talking about like assault or dom um, domination with like 30 plus people, I think, or however it is. Um, that's a perfect map for that. But when it, so those vehicles just contribute overall are not bad. With those, the motorcycles on Cartel, I believe those are fine. The snowmobiles on Crossroads, those are fine. The jet skis on the, the big boat map, I believe those are fine. Now, this is a topic I want to focus on. The actual boat vehicles that have turrets on them, multiple turrets, and the actual tanks. And yes, we have iterations of those in other maps. Like, for example, if we go back to Modern Warfare, we have... Uh, those tanks, but they're only involved in uh, what's called ground war. And yes, you have there is a kill streak to call in a tank, but you can only call in that big tank on certain maps. So like Grazna Raid, for example, I'm pretty sure you can call it in on there. Like big maps, I think you're only allowed to call it in on there. And that's you know that's fine. I mean, it makes not many people run the kill streak anyways because you're not not many people play on those maps. It's not like you're gonna call in a tank like on Jitmate, for example. But when it comes to modern, uh, Cold War, I believe the tanks aren't as OP as a lot of people thought. A lot of people were saying, oh no, they're gonna be OP, they're gonna be OP. If they're gonna be in casual like TDM matches and stuff like that, like 6v6, or if they're gonna be in, um, you know, like VIP score and stuff like that, get rid of them. If we're gonna keep them in ground war, assault, like stuff like that, lower the HP a little bit, in my opinion, because the HP on the vehicles like those are just completely like unfair. And so. I just generally think that they need to fix the HP on those. I mean, obviously this is the beta. Um, they can always, this is all this stuff is up for debate. It can always change within updates. And you know, um, Cherik is known for like, you know, helping out the community here and there. They're always known for wacky camos and everything like that. But hopefully when it comes to this type of stuff, uh, definitely, I hope this gets fixed when it comes to HP wise. The damage output is completely fine. You know, you get one shot. Um, I don't think they need to like fix how much uh, the reload speed or anything like that. I think the tank is fine how it is. Just definitely lower the HP a bit. That's my thoughts. Now, the big topic of this whole video, in my opinion, yes, we we're talking about tanks and everything like that, but I feel like the boat just definitely needs a big nerf. I know they're not going to get, com they're not completely going to get rid of the boats. They're not going to get rid of the tanks. And the reason being is because people who bought like the ultimate edition or whatever, they get a certain bundle that gives them certain skins for boats and tanks. So if they get rid of 
boats and tanks for example or and obviously we're gonna have a helicopter soon um and if they get rid of those things people are gonna be like oh so i bought the ultimate edition for no reason like all this for a pack or whatever and you guys are gonna completely get rid of it and they i mean yes they can just get rid of those completely but definitely they're not uh i'm pretty sure they're here to stay i mean when it comes to warzone when they obviously add cold uh, cold war into the whole warzone aspect um we're not gonna see those things in there so i feel like no no one's gonna have to worry about that i feel like jet skis are gonna make its way to warzone somewhere um same thing with the snowmobiles and the motorcycles obviously those are always here to stay but i feel like the whole driving system and stuff like that too is just a bit weird but the big boat um who knows if that comes to warzone i don't think so but when it comes to that specific map that's the only reason i don't like that map uh when it comes to i think it's called um, armada um that map or whatever i do not like and the whole reasoning is, is just because of those boats those boats have so much hp i even tried using a rocket launcher in the beta and tried to get rid of those it just does not even do anything it doesn't even harm them and i've seen uh, youtubers when they played the alpha uh those certain youtubers were allowed to put the alpha they were just you know t just sitting in a boat the entire time and because the boats just literally are unstop unstoppable um yes you can eventually destroy it but i feel like you need multiple rocket launchers to get rid of it so in my thought process lower the hp like i that definitely gets needs to lower the hp and especially for the bullets too um make it so it locks out quicker than it's supposed to because you if you shoot for like a while it's not gonna cap out it's not gonna you know your whole minigun isn't gonna have to be into like a cooldown phase definitely make that cooldown phase easier to get so i want it to be capped i want you to only be able to shoot a certain mount and then just easily get capped for a few seconds and then you can shoot again it's too quick how it is right now you can easily just keep continuously shooting on the grapples or and you'll live on the zip lines basically you can just keep continuously shooting that and you'll just keep getting kills and they just in my opinion it's that's not good gameplay uh they definitely need to fix this um it's just ruining the game in my in my personal preference and a lot of people might say oh you know you're, you're just hating on the boats you're just hating on the tanks but i've seen other people's videos I, I looked at it's not just me i feel like a lot of content creators just really hate the boat in particular not much the tank because it was the tank gonna do you know and the longer the tanks aren't gonna do much yes they have a you can have a gunner on them it's, it's basically a remodel of the old tanks in modern warfare uh but when it comes to the boat and it's being introduced for the first time they definitely just need to fix that fix the hp fix the cooldown on that because it's just repetitive and annoying uh especially on that map and it's um obviously we're gonna have more maps introduced into the game and we're eventually gonna have another map relating to us having a boat accessible or accessible on there and a lot of people just gonna be annoyed unless it gets tweaked they definitely just need to tweak it um just fix the fix the cooldown on it make it longer so they can't just continuously spam like a grapple or anything like that in the boat and definitely fix the hp the hp is just ridiculous i've like definitely like i feel like a lot of people are gonna get annoyed like me just imagine if i just had an lmg or anything like that with fmj who knows how how long it would take you to destroy it and by the time you try peeking them or whatever they you know when you're in a boat when you're in a vehicle you can see name tags way more easier than a you know a person that can like see your specific name tab if you're in a boat and that's another thing about the boat you can't kill the boat driver unless uh they're facing the other way and you can see their body but when it comes to the front side you can't do anything you can't shoot through it you can't do anything either they need to like make a little instead of it being impenetrable add a glass feature in the front and it'll make it easier for people to kill the driver instead of it to be him being protected the whole time so definitely they just need to fix the boat somewhat because it's just annoying uh but obviously the tanks um just lower the hp a bit i think gun wise explosive wise it's not bad all you, you only have access to the the whole big explosion you don't have access to a mini turret on it the person has to be on top of it so you don't have to have two people in there to actually you know use it viable but other than that it's, the tank's not as op just the hp is a bit annoying and hopefully you know when we have to do challenges for camos and everything like for lock for launchers and shoot down vehicles hopefully they're not too bad on boats and everything like that i mean it'll be easy i'm definitely gonna try to go for launchers as quickly as possible because i know those are gonna be the most annoying ones so definitely hopefully everything goes well with that but um when it comes to jet skis and all that stuff i think those are completely fine it's understandable it's just movement and it's nothing op there's no gunner on it and there's no nothing yes i guess you can say you can hit fire with a sniper hella easy but it's the same thing with an AR. If I was using an AR, like you're, there's gonna be like zero 
um, recoil or anything like that. So it's it, that's fine in my opinion because it's like you're on a boat or you're on no no you're not on a boat. You're on a jet ski. You're on a motorcycle. Just you know, it gives us a little fun aspect. People are gonna be able to check shots and everything like that. That's completely fine. It gives some type of fun. But the, the actual boats that have like a minigun and everything like that, and the tanks that have way too much HP, just change those. That's all I ask. But so my overall thoughts on this, just fix those. The, the regular like jet skis and everything like that that's completely fine i no no issue behind those or anything like that because you can see the person who's driving so you can kill them but when it comes to the tank and the other one it's just too difficult so i think it's harming the game in my opinion if they take the wrong direction with it uh so that's going to be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed my thought process behind the tanks and the boats are they bad for the game and everything like that they just definitely need to fix it so do leave a like on this video, do subscribe, remember that 90% of you guys that watch my channel on a daily basis are not subscribed, so if you guys can do me a huge favor, subscribe, it's free, you guys can always unsubscribe later. And also turn your notifications uh, so you guys aren't missing out on any new content, I'll be posting a little bit more Modern Warfare whenever I get the chance, but mainly going to be focusing on Cold War. And then eventually I'm going to have a video talking about double XP uh, for Cold War and most efficient way to get as much XP as you can, but yeah. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.